And there's the magic Buddha. Hey Buds. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, new investment, Viscount Gazelle camper van. It's only a little one, I think it's 11 foot, maybe 12 foot. I'm not quite sure, I've forgotten. Um, picked it up yesterday. It's a bit of a project for me. Um, I'm going to do a series on... Give you a look around. It's a little pop top. I'm going to do a series on the things I do to it. I'm just going to clean it up and modify it. Really, it's in it's in usable, workable, really good condition. Um, what's wrong with it is basically cosmetic. I'll show you what I mean. Um, things like that's your power inlet. You can see it's it's old, it's dirty. The plastics it's it's a used van, guys. You know the plastics a little bit degraded. Um, easy enough to replace. All the other vents look okay. The water filler is broken <laughs> but you know that's a seven dollar fix Let's put that back on seven dollars to fix that so i'm not worried it's got the good tires on it um nice big tires easier for towing you could probably go slightly off-road with it so dirt tracks and that shouldn't be a problem uh, on the back he's put his own little fold down veranda it's not actually sitting level at the moment because i'm on really sloped ground had no choice in it Basically that folds up against the back of the van. Um, might do some pictures later. Take you for a look around anyway. Get up here. <coughs> Wipe the feet. It's a bit dirty inside guys because I've been um, already sussing out what I need to do or what I want to do. Don't really need to do anything. It's ready to go pretty much. Just needs a good scrub I reckon. Come on inside. You got the kitchen area. It's a bit hard to film in a small place. But as you can see like the cupboards I don't know if you can see it or not, this uh, coating, I don't know what it is, it's not a wallpaper but it's glued on. So there's some places where it's starting to peel off and it's starting to flake off, you can see it's all bubbled through there, you can see that. But um, undecided what to do about it yet, but that's like, that's all needs to be done is cosmetic stuff, a bit of paint maybe, a bit of sanding, stuff like that, you know, a good clean. The actual walls. Uh, there's nothing really wrong with the walls apart from a few patches like that. I mean, I can I can go to, go to town and paint it, or I might just try and give it a clean because it's actually um, it's only the back wall that's got marks on it where he's had stuff mounted. Someone's had stuff mounted there, over there anyway. Um, I'm not too worried about it really. I might just um, I might even just paint the back wall, make it a feature wall. But like everything else. All the, um, it's not canvas, it's vinyl, but all that's perfect, there's no leaks. Got a little bit of a flaking up here. Hopefully that's not from a leak outside, I doubt it. Doesn't look like it. Um, you know, the roof needs a bit of a clean, but... Again, it's all just cleaning, guys, like... And he's, um, basically sold it to me. This is the cupboards need a bit of work. That's nothing. Told it to me and it was all ready to go as far as like it had a kettle and a stove and he's put a brand new microwave Oh there's the gas top Brand new microwave down there, I'm just going to make a surround for it Neaten it up a bit, like it's all functional, it just needs to be tidied up so Yeah, and you got your table there, he's even got a um It's modified, you can see, modified this part here so it opens up I won't open it And you can um Have your port in there I don't know how much use that'll get, probably just emergencies, but um, yeah. Got all the necessities, sorry, <laughs> dropping yours. Got all the necessities. Um, this is just an introduction to what's going to be hopefully a series of, um, yeah, fixing this thing up. No, not fixing up, prettying it up and um, enjoying the process, really. I don't mind doing things like this. So you look at the floor, the lino has been pulled up down this section to here and then it's the old stuff but he actually gave me a big roll a big roll of vinyl which he was going to put in and nothing got round to i think he just had a kid so you know plans change but i picked up for three and a half so i was very happy with that it's got 12 volt lights over the bed all the systems work the uh the um 240 just got that going this morning because i had to go and buy a 15 amp lead for that and yeah, yeah, okay, there's a view from the back. I mean, for two people, it's cosy. For one person, it's fine. 
I didn't want to tow anything bigger anyway so there you go guys um, today I'm going to clean it out like there's a toaster oven down there there was a toaster there was uh, that kettle there was um, there's all sorts of pegs and ropes and poles in, in a there's a um, what do you call it awning enclosed awning oh, Jesus words now yeah, you know what I mean the, the tent bit that goes on the outside there's that too um, I don't think I'll ever probably bother with it just got the battery charging at the moment because I've been playing with it I'm turning things on and off to see what goes and that, so. yeah but yeah we'll see this is I'm still sussing things out still looking at things um, undecided whether or not to keep that on the back that, um, that platform we'll see anyway guys today I might um, as I said pull stuff out do a bit of cleaning see how it comes up I've got to change I've actually gone and bought that already it was $7.95 I think eight bucks we'll say um, so I'm going to change that out just because it's it's broken that can wait does it's still functional it's got a TV antenna out and a holder up there if you want to use it so that's all wired up ready to go pretty much there's a few little brackets and things on the side from I think what may have been a table or, or something off the side I don't know see little brackets like this they're for a latch these are for a swing down pole of some sort and then you've got like pole holders here one two don't know what that's for or not if they're for nothing I'll take them off clean it up just um, pop rivet the holes and paint them white so you, you know it'll just look like a pop rivet then and uh, yeah I don't know nice spare tire big gas bottle actually it's only a little one it's big enough especially if you're not going to run the fridge on gas um, the fridge I'm undecided about apparently they don't work real well on 12 volt they use a lot of power uh, they run well on gas but I don't know if I want to run it on gas all the time I like the yeah the fridge I've got um, just the 12 volt fridges you get for four wheel driving and stuff like that they work really well and don't use much power not as much as these things do but anyway go down here maybe you can see that ramp better now yeah it comes off the back and folds up anyway I'm rabbiting on guys you got the idea the old gazelle I'll have to um, if you've got any opinions on color schemes or whether or not I keep the ramp on the back or you know um, yeah even if you want to give it a name or something guys I'm gonna name it or name all my shit it's called a nipper little nipper gazelle whatever Viscount Viscount not Viscount Viscount nipper gazelle cool I'm all excited I'm gonna go and do some work see you guys do not forget guys like share subscribe